Welcome to yet another weekly update for the monthly dividends portfolio on M1 Finance. If you guys are new here or this is your first time, basically every single week I do an update on my M1 Finance portfolio here. It is an experimental portfolio with only monthly dividend paying stocks. If you guys want to see the individual holdings in here, I will have an updated link for you in the description. Now, side note from all this, I am thinking about moving my Robinhood portfolio to M1 Finance once the margin in that account is paid off. I'll have to more seriously think about it, but just being able to automate everything here and get your percentages how you want them makes it way easier. Um, I don't want to be babysitting my stock portfolios like I feel like I kind of have to do with my Robinhood portfolio. I have to actually make my purchases in that account. With this one, it's completely automatic. So I really like that. I think long term plan that will be the um, option that I am going to take. So we'll have to see when I get to that point. Just wanted to throw that out there right now. Getting back to the weekly update though. So for the week, we have wiped out most of our gains. We're down $8, down 1.37%. Um, earned dividends is up 36 cents, which is good. But looking at the all time chart, I think we were at like we were eleven dollars in gains or so last time we talked. So about half of that has been wiped out. But our earned dividends keeps combating that, and that is the focus of the portfolio is the cash flow that it creates. So going over to our dividends here, AGNC was the last one we got paid last week. So since then we've gotten six dividends. And for the month of August, we are up to 88 cents. So looking at the previous month, there's a dollar 113. We still have to get SPHD. So we can pretty much bank on 40 cents from that company, probably more since we got a little bit more equity into it since then. But with that being said, just that one holding will put us over what July was. So we're continuing to accomplish the goal of month to month growth. Shouldn't be too hard with this portfolio, but to see the actual numbers coming in is what keeps me doing it. Um, relatively speaking, this is pretty low investment for me, $50 a week, really not that big of a deal. But this strategy would work with any dollar amount, it would just take longer. So that's kind of the cool thing about the nature of the monthly dividends coming in. It should just grow automatically month after month as long as nobody's suspending their dividends or doing dividend cuts. So these are the numbers from last week. Basically, income was $24, dividend growth was 2.9%, and dividend yield was 5.42%. Since the purchases that we made, our income is now up to $32, and that is annual, just so you know. Dividend growth is up 3%, and dividend yield is 5.28%. So, not a whole lot of changes, but income is increasing, which is the main important factor of this portfolio. If you guys want to look at it per month, it's only about $2 annual projection but it's consistent every single month which is the nice part here and then again that two dollars is just reinvested to buy into more monthly dividend payers so very cool to see that's why i graph it here so we can actually see um, how it's growing over time really not too big of a deal right now but over the long term it'll be interesting to see the shape of this graph here but yeah that about wraps up the weekly update with the portfolio if I decide to move my Robinhood portfolio to this platform, do you guys think we should combine both of them or keep them separate? I'd be interested to hear what you guys think about that. So just let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that'll be the end of this video. I will see you guys in the next upload.